I need to borrow a hundred dollar bill. Right. <laughs> <laughs> 50? <laughs> Be careful it's open. Oh, lefty, huh? Lefty. Cool. <laughs> Um, and be careful because you know, the white thing doesn't work. This happened to be a true story. I was at a party one night, and uh, this gentleman, I had given him the pen, and uh, said his gin and tonic. He had a few drinks, and it was already opened. And I, I forewarned him, be careful, the pen's always like, thanks. <laughs> <laughs> so you can just imagine, you know, Big Mark and his friends are looking at him like, what a moron. <laughs> We're not going with you anymore. Let's do this. Let's have a card selected from the deck, if you would, John, be careful. Uh, yeah, don't, don't, yeah, that one's good. <laughs> all right. Oh and here's. I can't all right. Here's what I. All right. Everyone see it? All right. Now I'll turn back this direction. When I do, turn the card face up. Write your name really big onto the face of the card, and let me know once you've done that. <laughs> <laughs> Just check. You know, you gotta look good. She got it all. Thank you very much. Here we go. Push the card back into the pack. Now, earlier this evening, I actually marked a card, but I didn't mark the face of the card. You've done that for us. I marked the back of one card. And if you would, just kind of squeeze the cards. Now, that squeeze will actually help accent the mark in the back of the cards. And typically, how uh, gamblers will do this, they mark cards in the upper left, lower right corner. And there's a reason for that. Either direction the deck is turned, you can tell where the mark is. Now, not necessarily if you're holding the cards, but if your opponent has the cards, you know what the cards they're holding. So you know whether they're full or any up. So here we go. Oh, there they are. You can oh. see them right there. Now that's the mark on the back of the card. What is the card you selected and signed? Four of Hearts. And sure enough, there it is with John's name right on the face of the Four of Hearts. Now, before I go any further, let me ask one other question. This is a silly question. Do you guys like to gamble? Of course. Yeah. You can tell I was at Reno. <laughs> yeah. Not much in there. Would you keep an eye on that for us, please? Sure. Great. Yes. As I go through the cards. <laughs> As I go through the cards, would you be so kind as to say stop for us, sir? Stop. Got it? Second selection, card number two. And once again, that first squeeze was so good. There we go. Great. Excellent. Good job. Now, by that squeeze, <laughs> by that squeeze, do you think there's any way she can change your card to a red deck? Any way at all? Probably not. Yeah. Want to bet? <laughs> not with you. <laughs> Gentleman's bet. No money involved. What was the card you stopped at? Uh, five of spades. I was. Oh, no, you didn't. Oh, you know what I forgot to do? And this is my fault. This is, I forgot oh, to have no. you mark the card. What was the card? You, five of spades? Well, sometimes it's actually no, easier to see the mark in the back of the what? five as opposed no. to the oh. Oh. Yeah. Wow. But I know what John's thinking. What is John thinking? Maybe not. <laughs> no, in my wallet that you've had from the very start. No. Oh, no way. But a single selection, what it happens to be. It is! Oh, <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. That is sick! for you, John. Thank you. Now, I've got a memento of this next trick in here. But I better do the trick first, give you the memento afterwards. It seems a bit more sensible. I'm going to ask you, Gary, to choose any one of these cards. Just take it, it doesn't matter if I see it, just pull it out of the spread towards you. I don't want to influence you, so I'll turn a wee bit away. All right. And will you initial it, please? All right. So, in my pocket, in fact, I got a signed memento of the trick with the two of spades. Now, watch this. There's the card. You may never see it again. It's in the pack. You do still remember what it is? You do? Right. Well, it wouldn't matter if you did forget, because you'd always check by looking at the memento. I keep talking about the memento. I think I'd better show it to you. It's in here, in my wallet. In here... Sorry, wrong side. In here... Here's a memento. As I say, it's a signed memento. Would you like to look at, look at it? <laughs> sure. That's 
Let me give the cards a quick shuffle here, and I'm going to try and do something completely different. Unlike anything that we've seen up to this point, kind of starts the same. We need a card selected. So if you'll do me a favor, I'll just riffle down. If you'll say stop at any point, stop. right there, mm -hmm. I'd like you to take that card, okay. show it to everyone, show it to everyone here, and also show it to our friends at home. Mm -hmm. okay? okay? Now, what I'd like you to do is to tear that card. Tear that card in half in your mind. <laughs> oh! In your mind? <laughs> <laughs> Well, <laughs> as long as you've started, go ahead and tear it one more time. Tear it in half again. Okay. Tear it in half again. again. In fact, vent all your frustrations on that card. Okay. okay? Let's see what we've got here. Okay, now I guess the most logical thing to do, since we've got all these tiny little pieces, is to see if we can't restore this card back to its original new shape. But here, why don't you take one of these pieces as kind of a, a souvenir? Okay. Actually, that's a bit of a receipt. Okay? A bit of a receipt because we're going to take these cards and I'm going to paper clip them together. And that corner is going to identify the card that you originally selected the same way your thumbprint would identify you. Uh -huh. Your thumbprint only identifies your thumb. That corner will only identify one card. Yeah. So watch these pieces closely. All I have to do is pass my hand over them just oh, like wow. this. And it... <laughs> oh, well, wait a second. That's not your selected card, was it? No, maybe, your, maybe your card of choice. <laughs> That's my card. In fact, I never leave home without this card. That's the strange thing. When I do leave home with this card, though, it's in my wallet. Now, if this card is here, that can only mean... But before I check, now, make sure there's nothing hidden in between my fingers, nothing up my sleeve, Nothing concealed between the folds of my flesh. Here I go, just back here in my back pocket. Notice I'll only take it out with two fingers. There's my wallet. The place where this card was in my wallet is right there. You see, this card is restored. This card is in new shape except for one corner. But let's make absolutely certain, was this, in fact, your card? Oh, <laughs>